Hey there, my name is Shallon and I'm from P2 Studios. I want to welcome you to our new course, Learn to Use TV Paint for Animation Part 1. This is going to be our foundation course that's going to introduce you to the basic functions of TV Paint as it is applicable to your skills as an animator. So to start off today, we're going to be introducing you to the interface of the program, its layout of bins or windows, and how to make them more effective in your workflow. So let's start off by opening up our application. As you can see, I already have mine open, but this can be accomplished by going to the Start menu, and you can select either TV Paint Animation Pro or TV Paint Animation, and this depends upon what version you have. When you open the program, you'll notice that there's a splash screen. This is an informational screen telling you what program you're running and what version you currently have. You have this option to bypass the screen when you start the program, which I have, and you can do this through our preference menu, which I'll show you in a later lesson. So you'll notice on our screen we have what was referred to as bins or windows. Each one of these windows can be modified and repositioned to create a better workflow for whatever project you or your team are working on. As you can see, the side bins that house our tools and options cannot be resized but they can be repositioned from one side to another to create a better workflow for your needs. Also, you'll notice that the main bin, or our stage, cannot be resized and is not movable. Everything revolves around this window. But if you adjust the bottom bin, you can resize the stage or center window to increase the visibility of your timeline your project tab and your clip X sheet tab. So now that you're a little more familiar with the layout of our bins or windows, we're going to go ahead and move on to exploring our tabs for our tools and the options that they provide. 